In the heart of Europe lies a secret jewel, a country of diminutive size but tremendous beauty. Luxembourg is not just a city rich in history and culture, but also a country with breathtaking natural beauty. You will be charmed by the rolling hills of the Ardennes, the beautiful views of the Moselle Valley, and the serenity of the Mullerthal region. Here are the 20 most extraordinary sites to visit in Luxembourg. Number 20. Park Mervelo Park Mervelo, located in the scenic village of Bettenborg, just 9 kilometers from the capital city and 4 kilometers from the French border, attracts tens of thousands of people annually. This amusement park's fairy tale themed attractions and rides include a game enclosure, playground, and mini train. Pony Express, mini golf, restaurants, and concerts, all of which are enjoyable for all ages, but particularly children. There is also a zoo, with a big variety of exotic birds, reptiles, and other adorable and cuddly mammals. Number 19. Schur National Park Schur National Park, which consists of plateaus, small valleys, and wooded slopes, is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Luxembourg. Visitors may enjoy an array of leisure activities and water sports in a region that is rich in wildlife and ecotourism. Within the nature park, which has a rich cultural history, you'll also find a museum with intriguing artifacts and an ancient textile mill. It is one of the best spots to visit in one day in Luxembourg. Number 18. Muller Thal Mullerthal, a minor settlement in the canton of Echternach and the district of Grievenmaker, is located in the village of Mullerthal. However, despite its diminutive size, it is impossible to separate this settlement from the Hominis region. Due to its topographical similarities with Switzerland, the Mullerthal region has been given the popular moniker of Little Luxembourgish Switzerland. With several trails winding through lush forests, natural waterfalls, and hidden caverns, Mullerthal is an outdoor enthusiast's delight. Number 17. Viaden Castle Viaden is a lovely village that straddles both sides of the Auer River. Its splendid feudal mansion, Viaden Castle, dates to the 9th century and is unparalleled in Ardennes and Eiffel in terms of architectural significance. The two naves of the parish church are also noteworthy. Built in 1248 in the Gothic style, it has since been entirely renovated. The ancient 1,250 Trinitarian Cloister Houses, a lapidary museum that illustrates the history of the region's once thriving stone and gem trading industries. Number 16. Burdorf Burdorf, located in the heart of the Millerthal district, is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Luxembourg. The breathtaking rocky terrain and lush vegetation make it an ideal destination for outdoor enthusiasts. Explore the numerous routes for hiking and biking, as well as the several vantage points from which you from which you may take in the breathtaking views. The energizing Millerthal route passes through a small hamlet where you can pause for a break. Number 15. Beaufort Castle Beaufort, located on the plateau in the Mullerthal region, is renowned for its nearly perfectly proportioned castle from the 12th century and neo-Gothic church. Despite the fact that much of the Beaufort Castle is in ruins, it is nevertheless a delight to explore. But remember to bring along your walking shoes. There are a number of routes that travel through the wooded hills to beautiful views of the surrounding landscape, passing by spectacular rock formations and the gorges of the Hallerbach and the Sauerracht on the way to Grundhof and Diligen in the Schur Valley. Number 14. Bauerscheid Castle 
Your trip to Luxembourg is insufficient if you do not visit this magnificent castle, perched on a plateau between the rivers Wark and Schur. This location is one of the locations to visit near Luxembourg City, since it offers a magnificent perspective. If you adore nature, then this is the ideal location for you. You can also sunbathe at Borchide Plague and Durbox River beaches. This location appears straight out of a fairy tale. In conclusion, this is an incredible sight to spend your vacation in Luxembourg. Additionally, the nicest views in Luxembourg can be found here. Number 13. Schengen the town of Schengen is recognized for two things, its wines and the signing of the Schengen Agreement on June 14, 1885. Located at the most southeastern part of Luxembourg, it is only one bridge away from Germany and less than 1,500 meters from the French border. In addition to the Church of St. Saviour, the European Shenzhen Museum, the Stars Square, the Peach Totems and the Shenzhen Gardens and Castle, the village of Shenzhen features dozens of terraced vineyards. Number 12. La Rochette La Rochette is a charming medieval market town located in a small rocky valley surrounded by forests. This town is dominated by two ancient and partially reconstructed castles, perched high above the White Ernst Valley. The town features a magnificent medieval plaza and a free, open, year-round museum of industry that provides an interesting glimpse at the region's past. As a major textile center, along its numerous old streets, there are also a lot of historical landmarks. Visit the Neo-Roman Church to view the Art Nouveau frescoes. Number 11. Wolferdang Castle at the gateway to the Grunewald Wood is the castle of Walferdang, the residence of the Grand Dukes until the end of the 19th century. Located on one of Luxembourg's most popular tourist itineraries and now part of the University of Luxembourg, it provides for a wonderful day excursion from Luxembourg City. Due to its location at the confluence of the Alzette Valley and its beautiful wooded heights, Welferdang itself is surrounded by magnificent scenery. The community is renowned for its rose gardens in addition to its breathtaking views. A vast archaeological site with a Roman villa and an underground aqueduct is also worth viewing. Number 10. The Luxembourg Ardennes this location contains forested plateaus, wooded hills, high cliffs, and concealed valleys. In conclusion, this is one of the most tranquil and lovely areas in the city of Luxembourg. The region is most renowned for the fact that it was the site of Hitler's final major campaign during World War II. In addition to the Battle of the Bulge Museum, other attractions include the town of Clairvaux and the Benedictine Abbey of St. Maurice and St. Maur. Number 9. Edelbrock Edelbrock, located in the canton and district of De Kerch, is the next greatest destination to visit in Luxembourg. If you wish to take a day excursion to Vianden from the capital of Luxembourg, you must take the train to Edelbrock and then transfer to a bus in the same city. Edelbrock is a very modern city in comparison to the other locations on this list. Cultural places such as the Diacol and the Cape, center for the plural arts of Edelbrock, are examples. The General Patton Memorial Museum and St. Sebastian's Church can also be visited. Number 8. Luxembourg City History Museum the Luxembourg City Past Museum, which opened in 1996 and is one of the city's more recent attractions, offers a fascinating glimpse into the city's more than a millennium-long history. The structure itself is a remarkable blend of the old and the contemporary, mixing a number of 17th and 19th century dwellings with even older medieval elements, such as the recently found vaulted cellars. These stand in stark contrast to the museum's strikingly modern editions. Number 7. Echternach 
The oldest town in Luxembourg, Echternach, earns the top spot on this list of the greatest locations to visit in the country. Rhineland, Palatinate, Borders, the namesake canton and district of Grevenmacher, both of which are in Switzerland. Number 6. William Square the William Square, place Guillaume II in Luxembourg, is one of the city's major open areas. Formerly the site of a Franciscan covenant, this location is now a pedestrian zone. In the center is a statue of William II, King of the Netherlands and Grand Duke of Luxembourg, mounted on a horse. William Square is also home to the beautiful Town Hall and the renowned Tremont's Lions. Also held here is the city's prominent weekly market, which is renowned for its flowers, plants and local produce. And be sure to take your time visiting this lovely region. It is a great place to stop for a meal or drink at one of the many fine cafes and restaurants located in this area. Number 5. Diekirch Diekirch draws its name from the most popular beer in the country and is well-liked by tourists for its vibrant local culture. Located in the north and situated on the river shore, Diekirch is surrounded by mountains that provide breathtaking views at every turn. Visit the pedestrian zone for shops, cafes and public concerts, and the old district for St. Laurentius Church and other historic buildings. It's also an excellent vacation spot for folks who enjoy a touch of nature. While here, you can bicycle, walk, kayak or fish. Number 4. The Massel Valley Each village in the valley has its own unique appeal and is home to superb dining establishments and a laid-back atmosphere that'll make you wish you lived there. Villages of note include Remerschken, Remik, Graveldange, Ehen, and Maktum. Locals refer to this valley as De Mussel, and it features wonderful fruit plantations, themed treks, water sports, and tiny boats, as well as a touch of medieval history. Number 3. Borlingster on the way to La Rochette, Borlingster, with its 18th century castle, is an excellent spot to stop for a lunch or an espresso. The castle is built upon the ruins of a 12th century stronghold. There are exhibitions and occasionally performances there. Two fine dining restaurants, La Distillerie and Brassiere Côte Cour, are located in each of the castle's side wings. Both of these restaurants, La Delacerie and Brasserie Côte Cour, have a fantastic atmosphere and decor that complements the castles as well as delicious food. Number 2. National Museum of History and Art The National Museum of History and Art is known for housing numerous artifacts, tools, coins, archaeological finds, furniture and documents. It is located in the historic Fish Market District. All of these objects are evidence of the country's rich history. The museum displays a variety of artistic, religious, social and intellectual artifacts from the Gallo-Roman period. Even the museum's contemporary art department is an absolute must-see. Number 1. The Old Quarter of Luxembourg City the ancient Old Quarter is the best place to begin visiting gorgeous Luxembourg City. This old city center, sometimes known to simply as De Stutt by locals, was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1994. Ancient fortifications also contributed to the city's status as one of Europe's most strategically significant large cities. The fortification was so formidable that it was nicknamed Galbatrar of the North. Even though the ancient fortress was demolished between 1867 and 1883, its influence on the Old Quarter is pervasive. Luxembourg is a fascinating nation that provides tourists with a unique blend of history, culture and natural beauty. From its lovely towns and villages to its breathtaking castles and fortresses, this small but formidable country offers an abundance of things to see and do.